a small but noteworthy feature addition to 3D Coat as of build 2022.48 is the Retopo Relax option in the Shift or Control Shift list menus. So these are accessible in the Sculpt workspace when your layer is in surface mode. However, if you have a layer that is in voxel mode, indicated by the V, you will find that these list menus are available when you select any brush from the surface section of the tool panel. Retopo Relax works in concert with the Conform Retopo Mesh feature, and it effectively allows the user to bypass the need to go into the Retopo workspace in order to make localized brush edits to the Retopo Mesh. Rather than simply demonstrating the usage of the tool, I also want to help inform the user what situations would they find it most useful. To better illustrate this, I will temporarily uncheck Conform Retopo Mesh. And let's say uh, I want to use the rapid brush to quickly build up some volume here in the chest region. You can see how fast and fluid the actual sculpting is when Conform Retopo Mesh is not active. And I want to draw your attention for a moment to the frames per second. This gives the viewer perhaps the best indicator of how the performance in the viewport actually is. When you look at the performance here, you can see it's well above 100 frames per second while I'm sculpting. When Conform Retopo Mesh is checked, then you will see drops in the frames per second. The reason why we have these temporary drops in performance is simply because 3D Coat is performing another calculation at the end of every single stroke, and that is snapping the Retopo Mesh to the surface mesh. In a sense, it's much like using the Remove Stretching option in the toolbar, where it performs a secondary calculation at the end of each stroke as well, but it's not quite as noticeable unless you make rapid successive strokes. The performance of the actual brush stroke itself is not hindered in any way. It's simply that fraction of a second pause at the end of each stroke that makes it noticeable. Hopefully there will be some optimizations in this area in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. But the best way to get the most out of your experience in the meantime is to slow down the pace of your strokes if you can. Another good option is to use Conform Retopo Mesh only when making large scale edits, meaning you're using something like the Move Brush, I can see that I had a pinch here with the Retopo Mesh. This is where this would come into play. Prior to this feature, what I would need to do is step into the Retopo workspace, as I mentioned earlier, and with the Brush Tool, I could either tap in order to make it simply snap beneath my brush and only where my brush is, but I could also hold down the shift key and have it relax while snapping at the same time using auto snap. I will go back to the scope workspace and with conform retopo mesh checked, I can now use retopo relax when I hold down the shift key. It's not going to smooth the sculpt mesh, only the retopo mesh. My own personal preference when sculpting is to turn Conform Retopo Mesh off when using sculpting brushes because the amount of surface deformation with each stroke is so minimal it doesn't really require an instant update with every brush stroke. Not when I know ahead of time that I can periodically use Retopo Relax to make the Retopo Mesh conform whenever I'm ready for it to.
Let's now check conform retopple mesh to enable it. And using retopple relax, I will hold down the shift key to tweak the retopple mesh. Okay, so that's a quick look at using the retopple relax feature in 3D Coat Scope Room. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.